punch it into the mouth of the crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like a uh, fucking some uh, shit. I I can't even think right now, guys. Peter Pan, that's his name. Sounds like some Peter oh, Pan yeah. type shit. <laughs> yeah, honestly, why would we push it when I could just throw it? Ah, <laughs> uh, make it easier for him to grab. <laughs> So, last we had left off, we were uh, asked by uh, the Lizard Folk Queen to basically dispatch a couple threats uh, for her that were kind of giving her and her little commune uh, trouble. Of course, you had met her after finding out that the weapon shipment were being uh, set and basically sold to the Lizard Folk. Uh, and the A, of course, wanted those weapons to combat a Sahagwin threat. Uh, Gil, you you're familiar with the Sahagwan threat. It decimated your people. Uh so she gave you she gave you two uh basically two bounties. Uh they're having the most trouble with uh Don Croak, who was a bullywug mafioso, Don Boss, uh, and with Thousand Tooth Teeth. It's interchangeable, I think, but <laughs> alligator out there in the swamps that's been eating a lot of poor lizard folk. And it's just kind of inhabits where their old camp used to be. And so having that area for themselves again would be pretty nice. Uh, you guys went to Don Croak's wedding first. Um, it was his daughter's wedding day. She had on a tiara um, and in fact matched uh, the gem inside, basically matched the artifact that you get your powers from, Gil. Uh, it's of quite great, in great interest as the quest run. Uh, you weren't able to convince her to take it off in time, which her head promptly exploded, and uh, any uh, chance of handling the situation diplomatically uh, went out the window. Uh, you guys then began to fight Don Croak, his remaining sons, and um, I guess just the unlucky few who were guarding the wedding that day. Uh, you guys massacred them, but not before Don Croak uh, took you down, Gilthorn, in the middle of the fight, Almost killed you. I think we almost had another death. Was right? Was it Laxus or was it oh, Alistair? It was Alistair. Me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, I, was, I was on the line quite a bit too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we forget, of course, Lax Laxus's mech suit. Uh, Tadashi was just there doing what Tadashi does, <laughs> you know, which is eliminating threats. Yep, so, with great, yeah, with great swiftness. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, you guys were able to handle that. Um, you guys chose to take Don Croak alive. Uh, and that's kind of where we're at right now. Um Tadashi, Alistair, uh, Gil, Laxus, Oceanus, and Don Croak. You guys are kind of, you know, at the scene of his wedding, uh dead bullywugs litter the ground everywhere. Uh, there's a headless frog in a wedding gown, which paints a very macabre scene. Uh, there's a giant uh, toad um, full of lacerations sprawled out on the ground. It's almost some sick uh, toad skin rug. Uh, okay. It's starting to get a little bit darker now. Uh, we'll go ahead and say that you guys were able to rest up. Uh, so you guys have all the you guys should have all the benefits of a full rest. And it's kind of up to yeah. you now if you want to go and fight Thousand Teeth or if you'd rather try to go back to the Lizard Folk Refuge and wait to fight Thousand Teeth in the morning. And uh, uh, Wait, so we have... Wait, so but we have Don Croak alive, right? Yeah, he's waking up too. He's kind of just like... Uh, uh, do we just turn him in? It's up to you guys what you want to do with him. Uh, he's, you know, he's like, he's starting to wake up. He's like, hey, hey, what, what, where am I? You said we there haven't was a... We haven't moved. Oh, <laughs> fuck you, man. Uh -huh. well, what are you guys going to do with me? Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not gonna shut the fuck up the, the entire time. <laughs> Don't worry. I could play with him. 
All right, so you guys want to try to go back to the lizard folk lair? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, in like, like in a map wise, what's the like the lizard folk place and a thousand tooth like location like? So, thousand teeth is definitely closer. I mean, they did tell us to you know dead or alive, right? What if we could use uh, this Don Croak here as some live bait? Oh, no, 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 no. You ain't gonna be doing that to me, you fucking goof. Well, it sounds like you don't really have a choice since you're tied up and <laughs> lost this battle anyway. <laughs> oh. We're already gonna kill you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Either you help you us out. bastards. Either you help us out, or... This croc, this alligator here is gonna have some. If I frog help legs. you, if I help you get this this gator, you let me go. Uh, I never said about letting you go. Oh fuck! I'm just making it <laughs> easy. It would just make it an easier time for you. Okay, all right. But if I live, I don't know. I'm not gonna <laughs> forget what you did to my family. I don't know about that, the head part, but. <laughs> uh, you guys want to go try to find uh, find the gator? I think, I think since yeah. we're well rested, I feel like we could take it. And it's, it's close by, right? Yeah, it's about an uh, hour and a half on foot. <laughs> And then from there, how far is the uh, lizard? Then it'd folk? be then it'd be about three and a half hours back to the lizard folk lair. Man, might as well go to Thousand Tooth. Yep. Yep. I'm down. I'm down to kill some shit. All right. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So yeah, you guys start uh, headed off towards Thousand Tooth Lair. Uh, it's kind of north of where the wedding site was. Uh, you guys are walking there. Do you guys want to ask Don Croak anything? Or do you guys yeah. want to talk to each other? Okay. Yeah, well, I'll ask him. What do you know about this Thousand Tooth Gator? Look, man, I don't know much, okay? I just know one day we're out here doing our thing. We're counting our electrum. And then this fucking, uh, this fucking gator takes one, of, takes one of my cousins, drags him off into the fucking swamp. Bigger than anything we've ever seen. Yeah, that's all I know. Oh. Fuck no. <laughs> if you excuse my language, <laughs> we're not going to go trailing off to look for him. Uh, you know, we stopped caring once the screams went away. Oh. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, well, then. There's makes no sense. fucking honor in this family. <laughs> Well, don't you have? Don't you worry. It looks like we're gonna take care of this gator problem for you. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <Shit. laughs> uh, when you get when you guys are out there, Laxus, you hear the sound. Uh, it's like, uh, it's the screaming, the sounds of anguish of a lizard folk somewhere out there in the swamp. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'll rush oh. to investigate. Oh, fuck. That's similar to, Can't you send similar your... to when they got my cousin. Can't you send the bird? Like, so it'll be faster? So that they can fly? Can you, can you send your, uh, your, your homunculus? I mean... Yeah, <clears throat> Only a certain distance, I believe, right? I think so. Let me check. I'm going over here. Here she is. Yeah. Maybe just a spot where everything's going on. Uh, uh, yeah. Does anyone want to make a make a check to see if they can determine like where how far away the, the sound was? Uh, you could make survival, perception, uh I'll do survival, wisdom, right? right? Uh, who wants to go first? I'll do a survival. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hells yeah. Good job. What'd you get? I got a 21. 20? Wow, nice. damn. 21. Dang. 
That plus five. Uh, right there. Yeah, with the plus five. It wasn't a natural. Yeah, it's about like you guys are closer now. If you hear the sound, it's about maybe like 10, 13 minutes away. You're going to have to cut through a lot of like thicket and bramble to get through there. Uh, but you might be able to find a way around. It would just take long. Um, so it depends on whether or not you feel time time really matters. Well, <laughs> this is lizard relations. Feel like, feel like we, the faster we get there, the more lizard we can save. Uh, can I hold up? What can I do? <laughs> can I? You said there, you said there was a bunch of thickets, right? Like, like it's yeah, and, and, and like bramble and stuff. So, can I can I use my short sword and like finesse it to like cut the with my acrobatics or is yeah, that like I, yeah, like just try to chop some of it out of the way. Yeah. And, uh, I would just let you do a do a strength check, to be honest. Like, all right, if someone wants to hack at it, fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. I was I made it a twelve, so you passed, uh, and that's just going to be a flat check for getting through this uh, bramble entirely. So, Alistair, you kind of take the lead as you start um, cutting through this these thorns, this bramble. Uh, it still is a little shitty to get through. Um, there's thorns and stuff poking you guys as you go. Um, it was faster than going around. It is, yeah. You're kind of in front. Do you want to have uh, Don Croak behind you? Uh, who's behind him? Uh, Oceanus. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, God. I oh, know God. I did not perform well in battle. I will make up for it. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. I will do this, Gil, son of the Aquarian Empire. Yes, yes. I, I forget myself. <laughs> All right. So we got. Let's say we got Alistair in the front. Don Crook thought, is uh, behind him. I thought yeah. Loxus would be right behind me. Uh. Since, that... you know, he's, he, he says he wants to go towards the lizard people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, it will go... You guys are kind of in that line, then. It's Alistair, Laxus, Don Croak, Tadashi, um, Gil, and Oceanus. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah, so you guys are kind of making your way through there. I just laughed the smallest guy chop into this shit. So. <laughs> yeah, you're just kind of... You can kind of, like... Yeah, you, you can... <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, oh my exactly. god, this guy's doing so shitty. <laughs> <clears throat> right? Because you still have, you're getting, like, shoulder checked by it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, hang on. Gotta refresh this webpage really quick. Yeah. Uh, so, as you guys kind of emerge from, uh, emerge from the scramble, uh, you notice some huts, basically. And these huts must have belonged to uh, the old lizard folk when they originally had settled there, before they were aware of uh, Thousand Tooth's presence. Um, let's see. Uh, it's must. It's really humid in this area more than any others. Like almost going through the bramble in a way, kind of maybe teleported you to a like a realm that was only slightly like mur uh, murky and danker than the swamp you're in. Uh, there's little gnats and bugs that fly around everywhere. Uh, one ran lands on Don Croak's neck uh, and like bites him. He's like oh. winces a little bit as it flies away. Um. <laughs> I could see Don Croak eating it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a good point. His tongue kind of ah. like flicks out of his mouth like a slingshot <laughs> and slurps. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll, hey, I'll take care of this, no problem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that and gets that As I'm over here warming up my hand, like I got you. <laughs> um, Are you here, though? Uh, let's say, uh, Alistair, make a perception check. Ooh, it's not gonna be good. 
<laughs> it never is. Six. Six? I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that perception? You're just too focused on the branches and stuff. All right. Well, the tiny man. Ah, what, what got my eye? I need to. Sh- I need to share. Uh, we're gonna share my screen, fellas. Oh, okay. All right. Um, gonna be a minute, fellas. Uh, are you good? You're uh, good. Okay. Okay. Take your time. Uh, roll for initiative. Well, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Quick. It's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be a while. Roll for initiative. My bad. That was kind of uh, not the truth. Twenty. Twelve. Twelve. I got twenty-one. Oh damn. Whoa. What? How? Uh, Oh, because you have a plus. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So it goes, Alistair, me. Wow, okay. Two high rolls. Uh, no, I'll roll for Oceanus. Oceanus also got a 12. Uh, so I'll have him roll again. He got a 7, so he'll go after Laxus. I mean, I kind of figured this would happen. All right. And I got to make two more rolls really quick. Sorry, guys, for the delay. Uh, Don, Don Croak's not gonna help you here. <laughs> <laughs> he's useless at this point. Uh, oh, no, he's not useless. We still have rope. Wow, you guys actually all gotta go first. This might even not be that bad of an encounter at all. Uh, Al- Alistair, you don't really notice what's going on. You hear kind of a heavy, like, breathing somewhere. Um, but as you turn around, you kind of step on this rotting log, and as your foot crunches through it, uh, two, you, you see them, you see these, the scales, uh, shimmering yellow and black, and a little bit of tan, diagonal rhombuses, as these two giant poisonous snakes begin to emerge from <laughs> each end of the logs. <laughs> uh, and Alistair, you get to go first. I want to play. Oh, oh hang on, let me, th- let me throw them on the map really quick, I forgot about Wait, that part. What, what are we fighting, snakes? Snakes. Yes. Oh, I thought we I'm going to look at Gilthorn and say, hey, you better stand back. These guys are your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me. How do I open up my monster tokens? Sorry, guys, it's been a minute. Here we go. Where's my giant snake? Ah, uh, we'll just use these two. Yeah, I get that. Those are good ones. Oh, so they're right there. Okay. All right. Alistair, you're up. Oh, shit. Mm. All right, let's see what I can do. <laughs> the debate. All right. Um, <laughs> I guess, uh, since I have my short sword out, I want to make, uh, an attack at the one behind me, if you would say, or the right of me. All right. This one over here? Yeah. Damn it. What'd you get? Oh, that's my a miss. Goodness. No, it was a natural one. It was a natural one? Still still a miss. Yeah. Nothing extraordinary yeah, yeah. happens, though. Okay. All right, so then it's my turn, right? Uh, uh, can I go with my uh, bonus action? Yeah, you got your bonus action. All right, I'll try again with the sword. There we go. 23, that hits. No modifier. Six. So six damage. 
Nice. All right. Yeah, you slice into the side of this giant snake, uh, and, and you get a clean cut. You can start to see the pink of its insides. It's kind oh. of like... Yeah, it's a deep laceration. It's bleeding profusely. Okay, nice. Uh, Tadashi, you're up. All right. Using my hand axes as usual. Oh, yeah. I gotta get a little closer. Uh, I'm gonna go after the one right next to Alistair. All right. Good choice. That's what I was hoping to split off. So you're gonna kind of, like, you want to move up here? Yeah. Copy. Does that make now the that snake um what is it called um Oh uh, it I feel like how yeah. big it is. Yeah, I don't think it's flanked right now. I think if we had someone like that's right what it was here, flanked. Yeah. Okay, so it's not gonna work. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna attack, right? Yep. Alright. So first hand X. Uh, 13? 13, you miss. Damn. Alright, second hand axe. Alright. 17? That one hits. Finally. Alright, roll on the hit. A whop, uh... Yeah, it's just two. Well, that's dope. Oh, yeah. Uh, how much damage did you do? Two. Two? All right, you go ahead and you cut into the snake a little bit more, opening a new wound on its right side, a little bit smaller than the one Alistair left, but nonetheless, the snake is having trouble breathing. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Gil, you're up. He can't use his arms. No, someone still needs to watch him. Make Oceanus watch him. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll let you shove him as a bonus action. Copy. Okay. All right. So we move into that space. Gil, you kind of like get Don Croak as you like kind of like uh, judo toss him to the side of you. Uh, he he stumble he, he stumbles a little bit, but he maintains control of his legs. He's able to keep his footing. His very strong legs. He's uh, has his arms tied up. You should yell at Oceanus. Watch him. I've got my eyes on him. Eight to hit? Oh, you miss, man. That's okay. It's Don Croak's turn. He's going to use his jump action to jump 20 feet. Uh, go. He says, see you fools later. I'm out of here. He jumps oh, over here me. next to Alistair. God damn uh, it. Uh, shit, shit, I mean, if you guys want to, yeah, I guess that you're, you're fair enough. Uh, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, uh, Eldritch Blight, you have to make, like, a weapon attack. Yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead. Roll the hit. You do some damage. Yeah, go ahead and roll the damage. Go for the knee. Four? The knee. Oh, all right. You kind of crack him in the back of the leg. He's like, ee yow. <laughs> but he's over by it. Now, Laxus, you can roll to hit him with a basic weapon. Okay. Get the other leg. Hit him with a spear. 21. Oh, damn. oh, how much damage did you do? Yeah, 
Eight. Oh, fuck that league. Fuck it, hey. Fuck uh, that league. I don't think he's going very far now. Where do you where do you stab him? Uh, like I said, I'll go for the kneecap. All right, oh. you kind of stab him. You don't like get his kneecap, but you get him right behind like the other leg that he has, uh, the opposite one that Gil didn't get. He's yeah. like ah, he's like I ouch. It makes it down there, Alistair. Or Alistair, you get to make an attack of opportunity as well. Oh fuck! I'm just. No, I'm just gonna like, like elbow him, like just because he's behind me. Just yeah, you can use an unarmed strike. Uh, roll to hit. A little taekwondo oh, kick. <laughs> Twenty-four. That hits. <laughs> he tried running and get shit. <laughs> oh, four. <laughs> four. Okay. Yeah, you throw kind of like this elbow. Kind of catches him, like, right across the chin. He fucking stumbles a bit. His legs That's not enough to get... knock him out yet? No, he has... Six... You guys want me to tell you? He has 65 HP. He's... Oh, fuck. Yeah. I t- or why I hit him? I hit him, and I tell him to stay down. Uh, you gotta hit him, and he's like, oh, jeez. He's kind of wobbling his head. <laughs> get coming back, too. <laughs> uh, let's see. After that, it is now Laxus's turn. Let's see. Wait, wait. I thought that was just uh, for him jumping. Yeah. So, it, it, well, it was Don, it was Don Croak's turn, and uh, he his arms are restrained, but he's able to jump. So. So wouldn't it be now Oceanus? No, it's Laxus then Oceanus. Laxus oh, my and Oceanus. Yeah, Laxus my and bad. Oceanus uh, both got twelve, and I re-rolled for Oceanus and got a smaller roll. My bad. Copy. All right, so <clears throat> I'll go for the snake in front of me, and I'll use uh, hmm. use a shocking grasp. All right, twenty-two. That hits, and two. All right. You cast uh, shop shocking grass. How does how do you cast it? Does it come out of your suit or is it uh, is it basically like a taser you have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a taser, but it comes out of like the tips of my fingers. Nice man, yeah. So you kind of like get your gauntlet out. You would fucking touch this oily, scaly skin, got a little bit similar to your own, and you just kind of let the sparks fly. Uh, kind of crisps up that area of the snake as you deal two damage to it. Hey. Mm, bonus action. Dab it in the eye. Uh, for a bonus action, I'll send Safira to fly behind it. Okay. Oh, Sapphire. That's what it was. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I, 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 knew, I knew who it was. I knew who it was too, but I was like, was this Sapphire? I thought it was Sapphire. It's a nickname. Yeah, Sapphire. <laughs> I just remembered because I had the fucking Aragon book set in front of the TV. Uh, oh. Yeah, Sapphire flaps, uh, flaps her mechanical wings, the springs and sprockets in her arms, kind of giving a little clink clack as she flies yeah. behind the constrictor snake. Then she I takes her axe in action after me. I'll have her do a force strike. She's doing a force strike. Yeah. All right. How much? How much damage is that? How does? How does that work again? It's a uh, five to hit or plus five to hit. Uh, range of thirty feet. Damage one d four plus two. Okay. Uh, force damage. All right. Yeah. Have you rolled the hit yet? No, not yet. Okay. Ooh, a one. Oof. Yeah, that one doesn't doesn't get it, unfortunately. She's kind of, like, trying to, like, peck at this snake, but it is kind of swirling a little too fast for her at this point. Maybe need some WD-40 on the gears or something. <laughs> That's humidity. Yeah, exactly. It's it's kind of, like, getting inside there. Uh, it's going to be Oceanus' turn. The boy is up. Now prove yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, he let shit. He let Don Crow get away. <laughs> He's gonna throw his trident at Don Croak. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's hope he, yeah. I mean, it's not okay. enough to kill him, but <laughs> it's what he can do. I just feel like, like he can down. <laughs> He throws his trident, uh, it misses. <laughs> oh my god. Don, he got a five. <laughs> Right into the swamp. <laughs> He's, I will, I will strike you down, frog. And the trident looses from his grasp and kind of just slides into the mud over here by the river bank. <sighs> I, I do not know what has become of me, sir. <laughs> now it's, uh, it's gonna I'm be, uh, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be the snake by Alistair and Tadashi's turn. It's gonna strike at Alistair. He got a one. He misses. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be the snake now by Laxus and Gil. He's going to swipe at you, Gil. He's going to try to strike at you. <laughs> he got he him. got a seven. He misses as well. And damn. Shit. All right. Back from the top. Alistair, you're up. All right. Going back with the sword. Damn it. Uh, you miss on the first hit. I gotta deal with the snake first. Uh, I'll do another one with the sword. Thirteen. That one misses as well. You try to you try to get it on the back swing. You miss that one as well. Uh, it's gonna be Tadashi's turn. All right, back to the axes here. First out. Oh, that's done. I got a whopping five. Ooh, your first strike misses. Right, second strike is twenty-two. That one hits. Go ahead and roll for your damage without your proficiency. Fucking one. <laughs> Three? Just a no, one. one. Oh, it was one without the proficiency? Yeah. You get a little choppy chop in there. Uh, you do, you snake fillet flies off. Nice. Uh, Gil, it's you, buddy. Okay. You want to go for the one on the right? Okay. You do hit. How do you tell me about how you kill this constrictor snake by touching it with a ghostly hand? Can can others around you see it, or can only you see the the ghostly visage? Do you? It's up to you. It's up to you. How do you want to flavor it? Yeah, like kind of like this mist starts uh, crawling out of the swamp, and it wraps around this snake and. As a little bit of time goes by, it begins to take kind of like the form of the skeletal hand. As it begins to basically use this constrictor snake, uh, playing at its own game, twisting it until the snake's head pops off in a gory pulp. 
Oh, damn. Yeah. Good job. Good job, sir. That was beautiful. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, that hmm, we'll explore that. Uh, let's see. Uh, so yeah, that constrictor snake is dead. Don Croak is like, ay ay ay. What the hell was that? <laughs> Laxus. Uh, actually, no, it's not Laxus. Don Croak. Uh, he can't jump anymore. His legs are gone. So he's gonna crawl like fifteen feet. Uh, to the edge of this pier, he's oh like, my God, he's like "Go pressure. fuck yourself! I ain't fucking with your swamp spooks." And he's That's trying fine. to crawl out. That's fine. We'll get him right now. Uh, one of those... Lock... So... so is that that snake in front of Lox is dead already? Yeah, he's out. He's gone. Okay, right. okay. And to be fair, I hit the snake every time. Lox is trying <laughs> to get behind it so we can flank it. <laughs> ah, he's, he's, he's crippled he's not gonna get away <laughs> from from what negotiations uh, alright I'll go next to Don Croak alright Oh, okay. Yeah, I was really hoping you'd yeah. kill him. Uh, you... And from there, I'll use uh, Lightning what, what, Launcher. Are, what are you even doing with these guys? You should be with us. You should be with me. Be in the swamps. You're what a you... lizard. I feel like Lux just ignores them and just like... You're a lizard, I'm a I frog. Can't. Come on. Where's your tail? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's he just it. says yeah, something like, he just says something like, 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 I haven't had one since I was a kid. <laughs> no, he just, he has, he has no answer. <laughs> yeah. All That's right. I, uh, type of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna use the lightning launcher. Wait, what? Yeah, wait, what? You're gonna just fucking, like, nuke me? <laughs> I think the li Hang on. No, I mean that's acceptable. I think the lightning <laughs> launcher is very insane though. If it's a launcher, you should have got behind the snake and launched it from there. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna No, I'm Man, all for this. Hold on. I'm for this. Hold I, this on. is okay. <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna be looking at Don Croak, but I'm gonna aim at the snake. Oh, like the like the oh, fucking fuck. kind of, okay, like the turn away like jab or whatever. It's gonna oh, be yeah. good. Yeah. All right. I feel like I feel like if there's like a charging like thing on it, he he points it at, at Don Croak and then at the end <laughs> just points it at the snake. Yeah. Alright. Sounds good. Alright. <laughs> no, Don, well Don Croak's not intimidated. Like you have nothing to get out of him. You do you hit? Nice. Yeah, very nice. All right. I feel like a lot of you something to him now. Six damage. Tell me how you cook this fucking snake with a lightning launcher. As I'm looking at Don Croak, and I'm like, I was raised differently. <laughs> the snake begins to like crackle, rither, and just fucking seize around. Uh, it's the smell of burnt chicken begins to like permeate almost throughout that area of the swamp as it cooks. Uh, in the meantime, uh, right out of it. Somebody make a perception check. Who has a higher perception check? I have a two. All right, see where mine's at again. I think Tadashi should do it. He has a plus five. That's survival, though. I'm trying to remember where perception's at. I don't know why. It's the it's the skill, the list, the skill. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
I got an 11. That's why he has a five. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to decide how far uh, how much I want to give away Tadashi there's kind of a stillness in battle uh, the, you are watching this snake like light show in front of you um, and it's unsettles you just enough you turn around towards the swamp to see Don Croak uh, and in the water you see this triangle-shaped stone, almost like a spear tip, poking up out of the water. Oh, I don't like the way this is going. <laughs> uh, and it's weird, because it seems like it's moving. Um, I'm over here getting the heebie-jeebies. Like, dun, dun, dun. You notice, uh, you, you have enough time to shout, if you want to, that an alligator is about to, like, burst through right here. I feel like just tell Lachis, this fucked on Croak. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna yell out to everybody that's around me saying, There he is! Go after him while he's bait! <laughs> <laughs> so, when you say that... Hang on. Let me get my token. This Thousand Tooth pops up uh, from this pier. In fact, where Don Croak is and Laxus are, uh, it kind of shatters. Uh, the wood just flies off in a splinters, almost if someone tossed a grenade in there. Uh, Laxus, you kind of fall onto this bank right here. Yeah. Um, roll a athletics check. Oh boy. <laughs> 21? You're able to tuck and roll. You don't take any damage uh, from that sudden fall. Nice. Uh, Don Croak kind of falls into the water. His arms are tied. His legs are fucked. So he's kind of drowning uh, in the water right there. He should have uh, crawled the other way. Yeah. And <laughs> while you guys are doing that, uh, you see bubbles from where Don Croak is. And almost as fast as he came up, that spear tooth, uh, that spear tip nose, and those thousand teeth, that alligator sinks back below the water. Um, and uh, let me just roll a d20. Oh no. Uh shit, that's a 16. Uh you see a bunch of blood start to come up from the water and almost like a motorboat is hap is going on in the water like kicking like a up turmoil of bubbles. Exactly, of blood. yeah. Thousand like Truth has Don Croak in a death roll. Uh and it's probably safe to say that he's not going to survive that. Can, um, can I can I just like lean over and be like he ain't going to be on rush hour 3? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh, no, man. Got him. That should be inspiration. A thousand Tooth is submerged right now. You can kind of tell what area he's in. Alistair, it's your turn. Oh, shit. So he it, it's busy right now, uh, death rolling? or Yeah, correct. Um... We can see that these two squares right here also are gone. Uh, that's going to be water. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. Um, he's death rolling. Can I hold my turn? You can. You can hold your turn if you want. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, it is now going to be Tadashi's turn. All right, can I do something stupid? Yeah, of course. <laughs> this is what I this is what I kind of needed. Uh, I am. <laughs> you knew what I was probably gonna do, didn't you? <laughs> so what happens if I just sprint over there since I have an idea where he's at to latch onto his back so I can grab his mouth essentially while he's spinning? Yes. Uh, you guys, it's gonna be ex I, I, it's gonna be extremely hard. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, what about this? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Jojo. Uh, okay. Would it, if he fails, though, would it be enough to kill him? If he just failed? No, I wouldn't flat out kill him. Okay, yeah, there you go, Tadashi. You won't die if you fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maybe. you won't Maybe. die. Maybe. Oh, uh, good. Uh, so do I need to roll in athletics, I take it? Oh, you're going through with it. Here. Oh, fuck. 
That's why I, that's why I held my turn. So you can move 25 feet up to this bank right here. Uh, you're uh -huh. not in the water. You have uh -huh. five more movements, five feet remaining, I believe, as well. That would put you in the water. Um, so you can either try to get in the water and then climb on his back, or you can attempt to jump from the bank. Uh, fucking jump, because I feel like I'm in a wrestling match at this point. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, crazy. <laughs> roll a D twelve. Roll an athletics. Hell yeah! All right. Oh bitch! It fucked oh, me. Oh fucking a! <laughs> it had Don't an it... actual twenty, then it went to an eighteen and a five. <laughs> oh, shit! Uh, you try to jump nine. on uh, yeah, you try to jump on thousand teeth back and then roll this death roll, and you you slip in this mud, uh, because oh, it's trying fuck. to suck one of your legs down. You end up beneath this swamp water, beneath this blood. Uh, you're getting smacked in the back of the dome by this spiky-ass fucking tail. Um, I just need to refresh myself on what condition you take now that you're in the water. Uh, at that moment... It's just difficult terrain, I believe. Hey, Lachis, how strong are you in that suit? <laughs> You have an ability, I think, Laxus, where you can make a strength thing or use oh, extra strength. Instead of, uh, instead of strength, I think it's my intelligence. Yeah, something like that. I could be wrong. It could be the other Artificer subclass. Because what uh, I'm thinking is since since I have, since I held my turn, uh, if this would have worked, you know, I would have used it to attack the, th the, the gator. But since it's not, I'm going to have to use it to save Tadashi. Well... Uh, oh, Tadashi, uh, go ahead and make a deck, an acrobatics check for me. What I was thinking is like taking That's a rope. Twenty one. All right, you're able. You get out of the water after the third blow to the head. You're kind of able to use just your innate okay, strength to kind of burst through the water of the swamp as you regain your footing. It seems like a scene from Alan Moore's Swamp Thing as this hulking Goliath is standing in the middle of the swamp, lily pads falling off you, mud caked over one arm, uh, but you retain control of your axe as well. Nice. Yeah. What was this uh, earlier? You, yeah, next time uh, you, will ha you can only move at half speed uh, now that you're kind of like, I uh, say like waist deep in the swamp water. Right. Uh, it's unfortunate though because I rolled for a thousand tooth and I believe I rolled a I believe I rolled a seventeen so I think it's his turn next. All right, let's see. Because what I was thinking of doing, if, uh -huh. I, if, if I can still take my turn, or how do I have to wait? Oh, uh, you just have to wait. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to tell me what you're thinking of doing though, or do you want to save it? Uh, I, was, I could try. Uh, what I was thinking, I think is taking a rope out and kind of making like a, like uh, a, uh, 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 like a lasso type, and yeah. going out to the middle of the bridge, and then having Loxus, and then after that having Tadashi and maybe Gilthorn and Oceanus, uh, wait there, have Thousand Tooth like charge at me, and as it was like trying to attack me, either with an acrobatics, try to get the noose around its, like, head or its mouth. And that way they can just hold it. I would say that that is a <laughs> an awesome Hard. idea, but also a very complex idea. So, I would require, like, a lot of rolls from everybody. Okay. If we were to make that work. But it's an option. Uh, Thousand Tooth, he is going to try to bite Tadashi. He got a 9 plus 7, 16. Does that hit? It just matches my armor. It hits. Damn. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, let's see. Mm, I believe. That, uh, one second. Let me roll. Let me find my correct dice. I Uh, let's see. 
It does nine dam uh, thousand tooth does nine damage to you, Tadashi. Holy shit. Uh, it kind of shucks uh, the remains of Don Croak out of its mouth, which is just a, like a leg, an arm, few fingers, and an eye. Just viscera begins to rise from the bottom of the swamp as thousand tooth clamps its mighty jaws down around Tadashi's uh, uh, upper arm for nine damage. Damn. Every tooth feeling like a tiny, uh, sharp, hot needle. I bet they're worse. <laughs> uh, it now is going to use its second attack. Oh, fuck. With its tail. Five plus five, does that get you, Tadashi? So that's a ten? Yes. Then no, because I have a sixteen. All right, yeah, uh, it kind of tries to swipe at your uh, feet with its tail. You're able to kind of just hop it really quick. Laxus, you're up. Or Gil, sorry, you're up. I know, that's why. <laughs> I was hoping to wrestle this bitch. Would you be faster in the swamp? I like how most of my other options are lightning attacks. <laughs> Dude, that's what I was yeah, let's not. I don't feel like getting fried with this damn cooked alligator over here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking fine. too. It might be a necessary sacrifice. <laughs> that's that's oh, what I was thinking. Love of God. <laughs> <laughs> Tadashi had to jump in there. Well, you were also trying to rest, like wrangle it. You guys were going full fucking Louisiana swamp <laughs> people on it. Nah, I, 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 was, I was thinking like of Steve Irwin. Okay, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's a little. That's different. <laughs> yeah, crikey, mate! If you get a rope, its mouth. All right, Gil, what do you want to do? At least try to help Tadashi out so we can zap it. I'm only yeah. like three times your size. I mean, I'd rather not get cooked alive. He needs his guide dog. I didn't know Brian's plan. <laughs> That's why I held my turn. I was like, mm, let's see what Tadashi... I thought Tadashi was like, can I throw a log at it? <laughs> I, was, I was hoping... You know what's crazy, guys? Uh, I've listened to a few D&D podcasts, and then, like, two of them, whenever, like, a player has encountered an alligator, they try to jump in the water with it. I don't know what it is about, I don't know what it is about D&D. That's why I was laughing when he said he was gonna do that, because I'm like, holy shit. It's like the, yeah, it, I don't know what it is, but I get it, because I would do the same thing. So. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, it would have been a, a good idea to jump on it when it wasn't spinning. And then maybe with your axe, like, just, like, try to hold on to it. like Dragon's ice. Dogma style? Yeah. And just yeah. hold on for dear life, and every time just do, like, a strength roll. Correct. Uh-huh. Like push him out. At you. He can he can stand. Uh huh. Like like Moana. <laughs> Yo, can't you freeze the water? Now with the creature in it. Uh huh. Yeah, I see what you're trying really. to say. I see what you're trying to say. I just, I think, because Tadashi still has to move on his own. The water can't move Tadashi. You can shape it around him, but you can't bring him like any closer or farther away. Hey, he, that's I like, think what I think what I think what 
I think what Matthew's trying to say is he wants to use like the wave as like a push, like a shove. <laughs> I I just I'm not making fun of you. I just love I just love the amount of like engineering you're putting into this. Um, you know, what? Yeah, I'll let I'll let I'll let you do it because you said uh, double edged cur or whatever the term was. Y yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you do that. <laughs> It's not going to be strong enough to move Thousand Teeth, but it will be enough to move Tadashi. Why not? Why not Maybe just block? enough to pick him up and put him, like, just that next square above, like, up here, by... Yeah, uh, like, right here is what I was thinking. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, yeah, right there. Right there. That will be sure. Oh, yeah, this guy's dead. <laughs> you, still have a, you still have an action, though, you... You can, like, try to Eldritch Blast them, too. Yeah. Hey, was it? I don't know. Oh, Shape no. Shape Water? It's a cantrip, right? Yeah, so you can just cast that at will. You still have, uh, but it's a... I don't think it's an action. I, I sound so silly right now. It's been a minute, but... Yeah, yeah I don't think a... cantrip counts. As... No, because, cause, well, here's the thing. Eldritch Blast is also a cantrip, so... You could you can only cast one. Uh Okay, yeah. Cantrip is a bonus action, and then you get an action to cast a spell. Is that how it works that he can't be seen at all, or does Thousand Teeth have to make a perception check? We'll give him disadvantage on perception. Okay. So yeah, you're able to do that. You're able to uh, push Tadashi uh, to shore with the water. Uh, the mist earlier that was still lingering around the snake, uh, the, the snake corpse kind of creeps back in to almost conceal Tadashi a little bit. Um, and Laxus, you're up. Uh, Tadashi's still in the water, right? No, he's he's on shore now. All right. Uh, oh, the fuck out of this bastard, aren't you? These these two uh, squares right here in front of you are water as well. All right, I will back up two squares to the right, and then I'll use the lightning launcher. All right, go ahead. Is that better? Hit. Oh, it's actually still close though. Oh my I feel like goodness! That's oh, so close you to miss. twenty. It's kind of, it's almost like a dud. It doesn't get very far. Uh, charge kind of dissipates on the ground. Smack it nice. around. Come on. Whoops. <laughs> that whole time. What's wrong with you? All right. Bonus action. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm muted on there, so I can't be heard uh, by that. Bonus action. Yeah. What do you got for bonus action? <clears throat> well. Hmm. I think I'll have uh, Sapphire fly behind the thousand teeth. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm going to have it wait there. Copy. She's kind of just uh, floating above right now. Kind of in like a cloud of gnats. Uh, let's see. Distressing news. <laughs> I, was, I was muted on the stream. They heard you guys, but anytime I talked, they couldn't hear me. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, unfortunate. But you're back now? Does it work? Yeah, it only took almost an hour into the stream. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Ah. We'll go back in and I will, like, ad-lib for it. <laughs> we'll ad-lib my parts in the stream. Yeah, we'll, and then we'll upload it as a video. I'll just do all your commentary. Okay. <laughs> wow, right. thank you, DM. You are the best. <laughs> I love getting attacked by alligators. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Just every, uh, everyone's normal o conversation. Oceanus doesn't have his trident, of course. It's actually by Tadashi, like, down here uh, in that square. Um, he's going to go ahead and try to shoot at Thousand Teeth with his crossbow. Uh, actually, I should move him a little bit. He's going to use uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25. He's going to go ahead and try to attack Thousand Tooth. He's going to shoot. He gets a 9, which is not enough. Uh, that misses as well. Uh, it's now Alistair's turn. Would it be bad? Is it like, did, it, did it go back to me? It is back to you. Back to the top. Okay. After she uh, What is Thousand Teeth doing now? Uh, he's chilling. He's in the water. He's going to start to try making his way onto the bank now and wrecking shit. You should try and help Tadashi either by distracting yeah. it or get Tadashi out of there. No, no, Tadashi's after you, so just distract Thousand Teeth away from Tadashi or something. You got any boots? <laughs> you got can any? I get to the... <laughs> Shut up, right? God damn it. Can I, can I get to the square next? Uh, the right of Tadashi? <laughs> yeah, like, like right yeah, over here? Yeah, yeah. Copy. and then I want to use... Uh... One of my darts and throw okay. it at the at thousand teeth. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. He said dart, and I just imagined him just pulling out a 13. smoke. You hit? Hey. Uh, I want to aim and try to hit his eye. Okay. Well, that that's a that's a okay that's a, six. That, that's a critical hit, I would say, to hit an eye. But yeah, it's what's called the it's what's oh, called the call it's what's called the called shot. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so just like, I want to throw it out of his eye. Hang on, hang on. We could we could try to make that work. I just got to refresh myself on the rules. I think wouldn't he just I have to? Had, oh. I think the hit would be higher though. Yeah, and so the thirteen wouldn't have beat it. Hmm. Probably just hit him in the face. Okay. Uh, you got you go ahead and yeah. You know what? We'll just say that it hits for now. Next time, if you want to aim for somewhere specific, we'll yeah. roll the hit before, and we'll do it. It has to be done with disadvantage. So, on a called Copy. shot. God damn. Yeah. All right, so you go ahead, though. You uh, become the first one to draw first blood on Thousand Teeth. You sling this dart. It zips through uh, the swamp. It actually slices a few gnats in half as it goes through the air. Uh, it sticks right into the side, kind of, we'll say, right down there of his bottom jaw. Uh, it's kind of hanging out now, but it gets uh, it gets a reaction from him as he whips around, and now he locks eyes with you. Uh, Tadashi, your turn. Right. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> I'll move back two squares if I can. Two. Uh, copy. As you try to move back, though, you will provoke an attack of opportunity from the Gator. Yeah. Would it be being next to actually help him too, or no? What's that? Wouldn't me be next to Tadashi help too, or no? No, unfortunately not. Well, I gotta do something to get the fuck out of there, because I don't have a shitload of health anymore. Alright, Gator's gonna roll to attack, or to attack you. He created out a critical miss, you're fine, Tadashi. Hells yeah. <laughs> yeah, he tries to get you in between his jaws, but you're too quick. Uh, some of that water being out of your way helped you. Uh, you wanted to move here, or did you want to move here uh right there yeah copy we'll put you right there uh it's now thousands teeth's turn he's gonna use a legendary action to move 15 feet oh boy. yeah 5 10 15 he's now barrels his way onto the <laughs> bank uh huge ass gator tracks uh in the mud it's no problem for him as almost he like pulls the ground up with him uh as he makes his way onto the bank you can see more of his body in his, uh, parts of his side and scales, you can see are chipped. There's even uh, a spear sticking out of his, his back, broken in half at the uh, shaft. Um, missing scales here and there. His tail's been chipped into a lot. He's seen some. Uh, he's seen battle. Uh, he's gonna go ahead, and he is going to try and fight Alistair now. He uh, remembered the dart in his side, and he <laughs> wants revenge. Uh, eight, he misses, but he's going to make a bonus attack. 
three. He also misses. So as he tries to bite you, you are able to use your training to swiftly kind of just dodge out of the way. Uh, oh, how do you yeah. dodge? How do you dodge his tail attack? Uh, it's gonna try just, to get you in the legs. So I just I jump uh, straight over him to the other side. Uh, oh no, it, no! I just I just jump straight up, like kind of like a like a jump rope. Okay, yeah, sounds good, man. Yeah, you get the you get the hop on that. Oh, uh, Gil. Oh, this You're motherfucker. Up. <laughs> you better fucking hit him. Unless I cause fear on him. Because if I cause fear... Let's see, hold on. Uh, it just makes him run away from the opposite direction, isn't it? I believe so, but if that's good... Hold on, the fire turn it. Um, frighten of you until the spell ends. No, not that one. Um, what is it? Dissonant Whispers? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Did it use its reaction? It used a uh, legendary... Uh -huh, but did, it do, did it do what? Because this one it says uh, a failed save takes damage must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. I'm thinking that if I can do dissonant whispers, if it fails, it moves right, which then provokes an yeah. opportunity attack from both Tadashi and Alistair to move away from me. Correct. So yeah. then I do my attack, do damage if it hits or if he fails the wisdom. And then if he fails, he moves, and both of you guys get a turn of attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sound good, Tadashi? Yeah, just get ready with get ready with your axes. Mm -hmm. With an axe, you get one attack. An axe. So I'm going to use uh, Dissonant Whispers, which is only first level. So it needs to save on a Wisdom Saving thir uh, Throw of 13. It's a gator. We should be fine. I'm saving throw of 13? Yeah. Please fail. Please. Whew, it fails. Yes! Oh, suck my dick. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it feels good. How far, how far does uh, he move again? My as God. much as his speed allows. As far as its speed allows away from you. But it also takes 4d6 second damage, which is 17. Let's go! That's 17 damage? 17 uh, psychic fell... damage. Uh, Sequestron begins to infiltrate this gator's mind, showing it complex realities, uh, equations, universal secrets that a gator was never supposed to comprehend, uh, <laughs> fracturing parts of Thousand Teeth's psyche. What am uh, I, the Gojo? The gator lets out a, <laughs> yeah, lets out a vicious roar, uh, takes 17 damage as you fracture part of its brain. Uh, Hell yeah! It's gonna run. Tadashi, go ahead and make an attack. Alright. Please hit. Dun, 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 dun. Please oh, hit. fuck me. Eight. God damn it. Ah, uh, you miss. We You're need... not able to quite hit Thousand Tooth. It's running a little too fast. We need 13s, boys. Uh, sword attack. 13, please. 18. Let's go. Yeah, you hit. How much damage do you do? Nine. Uh... Let's Sorry, go! Without, uh, without your proficiency bonus, I believe. Oh, then six. 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 Okay, yeah. So you do six damage as Thousand Tooth comes Let's barely go. Your, past your way, uh, cutting up a, a few scales off of his side. And he kind of is like now back into the water right now. <laughs> this is Lexus's time. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is Lex genius! Lexus, you're up. <clears throat> Do it, Brian. Oh. It's set up. Do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Zap that Again, button. I'll I'll back up two squares by Gilthorn. So straight. And down. I'll use a uh, lightning launcher. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Put out the good vibes, guys. Put out the good vibes. Come on. Yes. 17, uh, you hit with a lightning launcher. How much damage? Hey, it be superior. Nine. Nine? D okay, D so it, it takes nine and then half of nine, so... Uh, but we'll just round it up to five. So it takes 14 damage uh, yeah, nice. in the water. Let's kill yeah, this fucking thing. So it's kind of uh, cackling, uh, crackling a little bit in the water. It's kind of... Uh, having a response to it as it thrashes and snaps around 
Uh, uh, move down two spaces. Yeah, he moved okay. before he shot. Like down here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I did miss his movement. Thank you. Uh, Oceanus is now going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet up here onto the bank. Uh, and he's going to shoot again with his bow. Please hit. Please hit. Come on. Please Crossbow. Please he misses hit. again. <laughs> Damn, dude. I, I look over at Giltor and I'm like, bro, get your boy. Oceanus was supposed to be so cool. <laughs> I kind of see Oceanus as like as like a like a nerdy character now. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I got this. Guys, I got this. Nothing. Sorry, Boxy. I'm trying my best to hit him. He's I like swear. Steve Urkel of Aquaria. <laughs> he misses Can it I just. Do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, man. I don't know why. I feel like all the misses just make him nerdy. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like to be a cool character, he had to get like, 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 like good roles. You know, like ah, oh, fuck you, guys. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. Uh, Alistair, it's your turn. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh... Yeah, throw another door. Well, I got nothing else to do. I'm already wearing it. Boop, 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 boop. I guess I'm going to hold my turn again. God damn it. Just jump in the gator. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I got no, the break. what Alexis does. Tadashi, you're up. All right. So. Throw Alistair at the gator. Throw Gilthorne oh. to the gator. He can be in the water. Down. Damn. All right, so I do have a crossbow hand equipped. It apparently has a range of 30. <laughs> he remembers that after he jumped on the <laughs> fucking gate. <gator. laughs> I've seen what Lassie's done. Now. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. He's <laughs> next to me. He's next to me. Next to me. Uh, right of me. Nah, go ahead. Jump back. <laughs> he jumps and shoots the crossbow at the same time. <laughs> Gotta get uh, on that horse, you know. <laughs> Sees Oceanus miss his bow shots, like, oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Jumps on him and has the crossbow. <laughs> just point Starts shooting him. at him while on top of it. <laughs> oh, stop moving, I'm reloading. Okay, <laughs> so am I able to reach from that distance, or do I need to move forward? Yeah, you can, you can reach from there. I say you All should right. move. I'll roll for the crossbow hand, then. All right. Nine. You miss. Fuck. <laughs> Oceanus you... is like, it's not just me. Be <laughs> <laughs> fair. I'm the hand-to-hand -hand combat, and this is not the time. <laughs> not proficient. Uh, I've damn near been vaporized. <laughs> uh, it's Thousand Teeth's turn. He's Fuck. no. He it. He's no longer afraid, right? Uh, no, he has to make. I think he has to make waiting uh, wisdom saves. Wisdom. Goes. Hold on, let okay. me let me check real quick first. I think you're right. Um, the creature doesn't move into obviously dangerous ground. Uh, no, it doesn't say. I think it just does it the one time. All right. Can hear racking it to a terrible pain. It must make a wisdom. Uh, yeah. He's shaking. Thousand Tooth is shaking off a lot right now, but he. Turns or makes a Yui, <laughs> flips around, with great haste, comes back onto the bank. Uh, he's gonna attack Oceanus. <laughs> what, I feel like he's gonna dead. fucking die, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please, please don't oh, die. Fuck it. Oh, oh no. Please don't die. <laughs> he got a 15. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Hey, uh. What? Since I haven't gone, can I use my action as a reaction or no? Uh. No, unfortunately. No. no. Oh. All right. So wait, what is on. that? What is what is holding a, a turn mean? Like, does it just mean to skip? You just turn? pass. You just pass. Wait. Yeah, I I thought holding a turn was passing a turn. Of. Uh, mm -hmm. Hang on. It's I the whole games. I mean, it could be whatever you want. This is your campaign. <laughs> 
If you want him to fucking wait, I'm telling him, you wait your fucking turn, Alistair. What? That, that, that's he's, only, he's only a human monk, you know? He doesn't need a turn. I was just trying to save your friend here, but if you don't want me to save him, I won't save him. Uh, uh, yeah, no, because I'm going to say no, because it, it defeats the entire purpose of initiative mm -hmm. at that okay, point. Okay, okay. Yeah. So either use, either use my turn or lose it. Yeah. Copy. All right, so he, yeah, he does four. He does 12 damage to Oceanus. Uh, it kind of, like, bites in his side. Uh, Oceanus lets kind of out, like, oh! Uh, you know, as he experiences a lot of pain. Uh, then, Thousand Tooth is going to try to hit him with his tail. And like he, he and it's successful. Thousand Tooth got a 15. Oh, fucking uh, what's, what's Oceanus' <laughs> armor class? Oceanus' armor class is 12. God, the same as me. Yeah, and so that tail's going to come around. And it's going to hit four... Just think, you wanted me eight. to throw you. Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wanted you to throw Alistair first. Eight damage. Uh, just it gets Oceanus with the double tap. Damn. Poor fellow. Yeah. Poor little guy. Damn. Yep. Yeah. You should have got that fucking close. Uh. <laughs> I was gonna tell him not to get that close, but I was like, you already moved him. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I was, gonna ask, is, what, uh, I was gonna ask what he can do. Not a lot. <laughs> what is he like a ranger class? Or... Uh, no. <laughs> he's what not even he? a class. He just he's a monster. He has a, he has his own little stat block and everything. Oh, okay. So he's yeah, like he's NPC. almost like a monster. Yeah, yeah, like an NPC. Got so. What are his attacks? His attacks. Uh, he has a trident that he threw to the fucking ground. Like an idiot. Being, can, you have to. You have to remember that Oceanus is being played by me, and I'm fucking dumb. Easy there. I was just asking, like, like, like oh, okay, yeah, okay. If he had any like, spells yeah, or anything. No, he doesn't have any spells. He's got a trident and he's got his crossbow. I should have leveled it him up, but uh, or many powers there yet. Maybe powers what? later. Maybe what probably. creature is he? He's a sea elf. I would thought he would have something. He has no, that uh, no. the spell move from uh, Lord of the Rings, the the elf lady when she summons the tides to carry <laughs> the horsemen away. She he just needs no, to it. provoke an, an incantation first. Gil, oh. it's uh, your turn. Ah <sighs> shit! I gotta save this fucking guy. I'll <laughs> just, just blast him. Yeah, of course. Yeah, just keep on. But no, I need to find some other way to get rid of this fucking thing. But <laughs> you guys have healing potions and stuff as well. You they, should, anyways. They do. Uh, I don't. I thought they used them all after that. <laughs> no, we, we gotta we gotta rest. We got a few more. Have they, a healer kit. Yeah, and there's I spells could punch you. I can punch you too. Yeah. Oh yeah. And her, her death is at the end. Oceanus can make wisdom saving throws, same as anybody else. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, to try death saving rules and whatnot. So. Whoopie. Damn. Um. Fuck. I think uh, I'm going to move up on the bridge. Uh, two squares right to the left side of Laxus. Just get a little bit closer, but not too close. <laughs> like up here? Uh, really well, with Alistair guy. being at the bottom left, if I move up next to Oceanus, then do we have him in flank or no? I would think since he's a bigger I'd say target. If you, I'd say if you moved, like, right here, like, you'd have him flanked. And then we get advantage. Yes. Hmm. Because hmm. we can't, I can't, we, or we can't move to the left side of him anyways, because those are water now, so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could, because, you know. We, well, you can move. You gotta jump over that gap, though. Yeah, I would have to move around you. But I'm gonna I'm a move right there, then. I'll move right there. All right. And then I'm gonna proceed to, um... Point blank, Aldridge blast. Wait, yeah. If I, wait, if I do a, a spell and he does a saving throw, does he get that disadvantage since he's flanked or no? I don't think so on spells. No, we just get advantage on like attacks. Yeah, just on like basic attacks. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Uh, then I'm, on. I'm gonna let, let me let me double check, but I think I'm right. Oh, 
Because if not, I'm not going to hit him with a spell. Because <laughs> then I could just hit him with uh, something for oh, like wisdom yeah. or dex saving throw. And then hopefully he fails at least one of them he, if he has disadvantage. I mean, Joe's, I mean, Joe's cool. He'll probably let it, he'll let it, allow it, right? <laughs> Joe's cool. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> cool. Fla sadly, flanking only gives advantage on melee attacks. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so then you said cantrips are bonus actions? Uh, yeah, you can cast a cantrip as a bonus action. Only. Okay, then I'm going to swing at him with the light hammer, but I'm going to aim for... Because you said that Alistair hit him in the eye, right? You were going to allow no. that or no? No? Okay, well then I'm going to swing for his eye with the light hammer. Cold shot? Cold, cold shots only apply to, like, um, thrown weapons, ah, but... uh, ammo type weapons, things like that. Then I'm a boop his snoot. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Aim for the jaw. Light hammer. The first one. You hit. 14. Well, I'll, I'll roll again. I'll roll again. You know, might as well. <laughs> it's a good thing I got the 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 10 less. Uh, three damage with the light hammer. And then as my bonus action, I will Eldritch Blast him. Do I have advantage on... <laughs> no, I, I missed the Eldritch Blast. It's eight. No. Okay. Uh, how much damage did you do with your hammer? Oh, uh, just three. Three? Yeah, you boop his snoot. That's an apt way of putting it. Three damage. <laughs> uh, and by the way, Matt, I, I clarified the rules. I can't let you... I can't do it anymore. I can't be complicit. A cantrip is a full action. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, sorry. sorry. It's all right. Well, it's a good thing this missed. time. Yeah, it's a good thing I've missed. I mean, or not. I mean, I would have been cool either way, but yeah, I'll try to remember as well that it, it takes a full action. Got it. Well, then uh, I, I would have just swapped them. I would have just said uh, I'll just blast and then hammer for a bonus. Laxus, you're up. Right. Surround this bitch. Laxus, I say switch places with, uh, what's his face? Hoshiannis? Yeah. But if he so moves them, I believe that's uh, opportunity attack. Is it? It will be, yeah. Uh... Okay, never mind. If anything, get beside him so that we're all surrounded. And then he has bonus attacks. Would his grasp be counted as a physical attack? The electric or shocking grasp? Uh, as a melee attack? No, it's a touch uh, spell. Ah. I was going to say, shocking grasp is bitch ass with advantage if you could. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, uh, yeah, I'll go in and I'll do a shocking grasp. Oh, you, you don't have to. It's my best thing to hit. Hey. I say so I'll, I'll go up next to Oceanus, yeah. We and just, use a shocking grasp. We just seclude Tadashi out of this. <laughs> yep, pretty much. I'm just over here. <laughs> 21. You hit? Hey. Let me do something for me. And I do four damage. You kind of, you put your gauntlet up to uh, thousand two uh, sides as it begins to crack a lot of your fingertips. It discolors the patch of scales that he has. Alright. And then I'll have Sapphire uh, land on his back. And All also right. use uh, Shocking Grasp. Alright. Nice. 24. Oh shit. Nice. Double whammy. What's the damage? Seven damage. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, she kind of flies over there, springs clinking and clacking away, flies on the back. Uh, the sparks that she let up, lets out, is, it, it dwarfs her in size in comparison. Almost like Pikachu letting out a lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it uh, cooks some more of the gator scales. Seven damage. Nice. Uh, it's Oshi Anis's turn. He's too close to use his crossbow now. He has no trident. He can only make unarmed strikes. Uh, he says before he throws a punch at the skater, I'm willing to die for Aquaria. Uh, five. He misses. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to swing at the skater. Oh my, I can't even well, it's, not, it's, not that he, it's not that he misses, it's, it just does <laughs> not do enough. He can't break through. Like, the scales are still slippery. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna make a bonus action to try and hit again. 
He misses again. I don't know why Oceanus. I can never roll anything above a six for Oceanus. Uh, me. I can only roll sixes for Oceanus. Uh, Al Alistair. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Joe. I feel like, like it's like Joe. You're just using a, 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 a six D dice. Like, damn, <laughs> another six. Yes, oh well, the guys. I can get. <laughs> it's like, oh well, guys. It's best to look at next time. <laughs> Uh, I was just looking. Excuse I want to use my. Uh, it's a third level attack, Way of the Mercy, uh, okay. Hand of Harm. It says, use your key to inflict wounds when you hit a creature within. Unarmed strike, you, you spend one key point and deal. So I'm gonna roll for unarmed strike. Copy. What is that? Fuck. Seven. Oh, but that's an advantage, because I'm reflanked. Exactly. You get a roll again. <coughs> Please. Please. That one hits. <coughs> and then roll. So I'm gonna use. So then you spend one key point to deal. Extra necrotic damage, so okay. So I'm gonna roll for the damage for the unarmed strike, which is five, and then use one key point. What is that? Okay, and deal extra necrotic damage equal to one roll of your martial arts die plus your wisdom modifier, which I don't know which one is the martial arts die. Whoa. Okay, hang on. Everyone, look at this character sheet. No, no. <laughs> Wait, which one are you doing? It's under attack. It's your all D the way in the bottom. It's your D four. Uh, oh. Your unarmed strike deals one D four damage. Uh, that's that's like considered your die because when you're level five, it becomes D six. Then when you're at level 11, it becomes D8. So D4. it's... Yeah, so, so it's a D4, plus your wisdom. So it's zero, so okay, just be D4. So five... So five with the unarmed, plus two necrotic damage. So you, 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 you deal uh, seven damage uh, to this gator. Yep. You throw a kind of a right cross, you knock out uh, a few of its teeth. And it kind of rots oh, away. No more. Exactly, yeah. Uh, then, since I'm doing an unarmed strike, I want to use a. Wait, can I use another key or no? I think you can only use one key uh, per, like, per action. Oh, uh, wait, where is Tadashi at? He's still pretty far. Mm-hmm. Why are you trying to have him throw you? No, I was, gonna, I was gonna hit him to heal him up. Oceanus needs heals. <laughs> too far. Put on the other side of him. Alright, then, so I'm, and then I'm gonna use my... Wait, no. God damn it. I'm just gonna do another unarmed strike. As a bonus action. Alright. 14. You hit. 7. Nice. Nice. You kind of throw an uppercut from the bottom, knocking out a few more teeth that go kind of flying out. Alrighty. Alright. Um, yeah. Tadashi, you're up. Uh, let's see, is it water right it, uh, Alistair? Uh, yeah, so basically, there's no water right there, but there's water here and here. So yeah. if you want to go th this area right here above Oceanus. That's okay. the only area. That's the only area that's not, like, water yeah, that you could stand there. in. 
Uh, what's your movement speed? Uh, let's see. 30, right? Yep. Okay. You make it. Cool. Perfect. Now the Thousand Teeth is completely flanked. Uh, it's only oh. retreat is the water, but it's not going to back down. Yeah. So this is my time to start using my hand axe again. So, first hand axe. That's dumb. Ninth. Oh, that one misses. But nice. you have advantage, so you can roll again. All right. 22. Nice. <laughs> advantage always comes in clutch for you guys at 22. All right. So roll for hit. What was a whopping eight. Nice. You bring uh, the hand axe in your left hand down, uh, slicing and busting off a few of the gator's scales. You finally start to see Thousand Teeth bleed a little bit. Yay. Yeah. I will use my second hand axe or no? Yeah, you you get a roll for it. You just don't get your proficiency. But yeah. you do get advantage to hit. Eighteen. Really? You got it off the first one. No advantage needed. Go ahead and roll for your damage. Six. Another eight. You bring the right one down almost in the same That's fashion. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, man, I must be slattering the shit out. You of that. got some other stuff too, I believe. That I wanted to refresh yeah, my memory eat. on. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have a fire rune. You have action oh, surge, so if you wanted, you could use your action surge to make another attack right now. Action. Or you can do it later. Is that underneath bonus actions? Uh, no, it's something that you just get as a fighter at level 2. You can take one additional action on your turn. This can be used one time per short rest. Per short rest. So you can use it to attack, you can use it for whatever. Oh, the second win? Yeah. Yeah, so I gained 3 HP and use that. Yeah. No, not second win. No, it's not second win. No, 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 not, not second win. Sorry. Charles, so it's it's not under bonus action. Go all the way in the bottom of other. It's action surge. Yeah, so for you, I'm on actions, oh. and then I have all. And then down at the bottom, you have uh, action surge. You also have Stone's Endurance as well, and the Fire Rune, so. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use Action Surge. Okay. So, that means I could take one additional, okay. Do you want to apply your Fire Rune to it as well? Uh, fuck it. Okay, so when you hit it, well, first, uh, roll to see if you hit again. We'll, we'll start there. All right, so attack, hand axe. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, I don't. I got oh, it's all right. You take your action surge, just hoping to get another hit in. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, Thousand Tooth isn't going to let you fool her a third time. Kind of is able to uh, faint and get out of the way of the third strike. Uh, it's going to be his turn. Going to swing on Alistair. Yep. 17. Does that hit? Yeah, mine's a 12. Alright. Hit you for 15 damage with her bite. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's kind of able to just get you kind of uh, in between, under the arm, above the leg, right in the side of the torso for 15 damage. And she's going to try it. Uh, I keep saying she and he. This is a, a interchangeable alligator. But Thousand Tooth <laughs> is going to try again. Dangerous every Hit time. Hit you with her tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with, its, with its tail. <laughs> For a ten. The water is turning Thousand Tooth gay. It, <laughs> <laughs> it misses. It misses? Yeah. Oh, thank God. All right, it is now... Actually, I'm going to use my last remaining legendary action to try to bite you again. Me? Yeah. Fuck. Four misses. You're good. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid gator. Uh, Gil, you're up. Gil, 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 Gil. I know, I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Alright, alright. 
<sighs> Alright, let me do this in the correct order. I'm gonna try for Eldritch Blast first this time. Because <laughs> I'm be. seeing it's bloody. I'm just like, let's just get this fucking gator killed. Get out of here. I've been saying. Wait, you've been saying the stupidest shit ever. I right, shut up. <laughs> no, I've been saying Eldritch Blast it. No, 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 no. You didn't want to pin the fucking frog. And now look, we got nothing to show for it, and he's fucking dead because of a goddamn roll. All right? She, she if, said if, it was fine if she he died. <laughs> yeah, no, but no, no, no. I didn't want that. <laughs> I, I was, didn't want that either, but it was his dumbass that. But jumped. you didn't pin him, all right? What do you mean? Both his legs were broken. You attacked a <laughs> fucking snake and missed, and you didn't hit, pin goddamn croak, all right? I don't want to hear it from you. Where was Nicky about go? I you were useless when it came to those snakes. Do not speak to me, human. Oceana says everyone misses sometimes. It is okay, Gil. <laughs> I know, for you, but this human <laughs> proves nothing, <laughs> has done nothing, and has caused so many problems even before you came here, Oceanus. Thousand Tooth is gonna kill, is gonna kill you. He ca he's catching you monologuing. He's catching me monologuing, god he's damn it. He's catching you monologuing. You're like, you slide dog, you gotta be monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> you sneaky uh... turn. I'm gonna hit Dissonant Whispers again and hopefully get this motherfucker some goddamn D6. Mm -hmm. So, Wisdom Saving Throw 13. Uh, wait, what? Are, wait, you're hitting me with Dissonant Whispers again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's funny, I like it. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that should be the, the every case, every time he comes on land, so Lox can just do a lightning attack thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what I get this time? 10! <laughs> 10! Everyone! Uh, yeah, <laughs> Sequestron gets back in the... Roll for damage, first of all. How much damage do you do to Thousand Yeah! Two? Wait, if I wanted a bonus action, some... Oh, goddamn, 16. Damn! Uh, once again, uh, you call out to Sequestron for help. Uh, he obliges, kind of... You don't know how to explain it, but your brain is smiling. Uh, Sequestron invades Thousand Teeth once again. Uh, just in case he forgot about the complex nightmares that were induced earlier, he remembers them again. And it's almost a different kind of tragedy for this alligator to have to relive this a second time. <laughs> it's even more soul-crushing as it fractures his brain into quarters. Uh, it's almost nothing left of this gator. Uh, it turns around very violently as he begins to try to shamble away back into the swamp. Um, we'll just go down the list as everyone gets a chance to make an attack of opportunity against Thousand Teeth as he tries to slink back away. Wait, quick question, uh, quick question. Uh, so I have a bonus action, and I was going to try and hit it with a melee weapon. Go for uh, it. As my reaction? I could still do that even though it's running away Yeah, you can still do it as your bonus action. Okay, I'm going to use my sickle this time. That's a fucking oh. natural 20! Alright, how much damage? Fucking four damage doubled down, right? That's Cause... that's all the life Thousand Teeth had left. Tell me Let's how you finish go! Tell me how you finish your off. Wow. Kill the Let's one. fucking <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah! Big swing in the day. Oh my god, fuck you, Alistair. Oh, first <laughs> off, I say that as I fucking sling this goddamn sickle. As the but Thousand Teeth swinging away, I swing it and I think I hit him right behind the eyes. So it hits him right in the brain and it just slices into his scalp. And I yeah. just release the fucking sickle from his head and just watch his body full limp in front of me. Nice. Ugh. I got the scales. <laughs> Tanashi immediately gets to walk and taking scales. Hey, wait, leave, the, leave some of the meat for me. We need some of this nah, food. We, we all share those scales. You can't call that. Wait, 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 wait. Can we harvest both both the snakes and Thousand Teeth's meat and scales? Yeah, call the teeth. Who has the highest survival uh, skill amongst me. you? Uh, roll, you? Roll, make a survival check. Fucking Charles. Me. <laughs> Immediately he knew. Oh, god damn it. it was only yeah, two. you should have fucking made it. Who has the second highest survival skill? I don't know, but I rolled two. a 17 survival. Uh... Okay, that's uh, that's enough. I was going to say if it was like 7 plus 10 or whatever, but... Uh, oh, I had this, I did have the second highest. <laughs> I was... I'll roll a 17. You guys are good. Yeah, you're able to... <laughs> how do you guys want to butcher Thousand Teeth up? Like, how do you want to... Yeah! Do we do okay, okay, okay. 
We do appetizer snakes. And then... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I may, if I may. There's different parts to, to um, fully harvesting this. We have, oh my god, you're we good. have I teeth. Love how this has become delish, delicious in dungeon or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So so we have we have teeth boys, we have scales, we have skin, <laughs> and we have meat. So I think getting, we wait, have four did, of uh, each subject. Do the snakes have poison or venom? Yeah, those snakes were poisonous. Yeah. So we, we can't okay. eat them. And we have poison glands too then. Sure. Yeah. We'll say I yeah. give them to I give them to Laxus. I know he'll use them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Poison yeah. glands to Laxus. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I still have the ones from last time. Yeah, know <laughs> in your inventory that you have two, uh, like, poison glands. Nice. Uh, we'll basically say they can contain poisonous venom in them, so. I want, I want, I want some of the leather to, like, some of the le leather gator to make uh, armor for myself. Alright, yeah, you can, like, get, like, a bundle of it, basically, roll it up. Uh... Can you tell us what was the actual armor class of this gator? Twelve. Oh, twelve? Yeah, been. it was twelve. Oh, they probably won't make it any stronger than me then. What do you want to use the hide to make armor? Yeah. You could use it aesthetically. I think I make a necklace out of the teeth. Okay. Yeah. You uh, have a uh, you have a gator it. tooth necklace. Yeah. Is it basic poison. What's that? Would it go under like basic poison? Just make yeah, a custom item. Poison. I would just make a All custom right. item. Snake poison uh, gland. <laughs> we'll do basic poison for now, and then we can re bend the rules with it a little bit later, depending on how it's used. Hold well, on, let me see. Uh, inventory, equipment, add equipment. I'll make a custom one. Thousand tooth necklace. Tadashi, what do you want from the gator? Well, help. You get the meat. We all eat the meat right now. No, no, no. We harvest left him. Because these guys have done. Oh. He still has some scales, his eyes, there's meat on him. There's a broken spear, like half a broken spear in his back. Um, Yo, fuck this gator. <laughs> yeah. Not take a lot the broken left. Spear. Jeez. Oh, can can we uh can we cut open? How, how old is this gator? Would you say? Hang on, Laxus, you want to take the broken spear out of its back? Yeah. Uh, make a strength check. Come on, Laxus. Fourteen. Uh, <laughs> you're able to pull uh the spear out. Uh, when you pull it out, uh, of its back, you notice that it's finely made. Uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like it can be used for much now, maybe like a knife or something like that, but it's very fine, uh, like craftsmanship, almost elven. So for the right buyer, they would pay a good price for it. Give it to Oceanus. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Nice. So what I was thinking is, uh, like depending on how old the gator is or how big okay. it is too, there could be like stuff inside his stomach. I was thinking if that's possible, like if we could cut it oh. open and see what's inside of it. I would say nothing. Hey, you, you know that junk, <laughs> junk, junk is not uh, nothing to uh, lock over here. <laughs> you, <laughs> he wanted a boot. Uh, I'd yeah. say a lot, maybe like a lot of bones, like half digested lizards. There might be. Uh, I'll say that there's like a there's a gold Wait. necklace or two in there. Noise. For Loxus here, I will bury the fallen. Nice. All right, who's the fallen? The snakes? No, the bones. The people. Oh, yeah. of the lizard. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. There is lizard folk, uh, which we were talking about earlier. Um, over to the right, Laxus. As you go around gathering up the room, I was like, "Who the fuck? Who? <laughs> <laughs> is this? <laughs> is this <laughs> fucking <laughs> Transformers? <laughs> what happened to the actual, yeah, to the people that were screaming? Did they get? They, yeah, they no, killed? there was somebody over to this hut on this right. There was a lizard folk. He had got his leg bitten off. Uh, you can see now that he's dead. Uh, he kind of just bled out. Uh, maybe if he was discovered a little bit quicker, you guys would have been able to save him. I apologize. You would have been able to sock I, him uh, and heal him. 
Yeah. I was I was I was about to go Damn. punch him, but all right. But he's holding a pouch. He's holding a pouch Wait, in his hands. How recently dead is he? Can I just like, he try died, to, like like uh, twenty thirty minutes ago? Oh, Damn. that's too far. Can I investigate his body? Uh, yeah. Uh, make a make a perception check. Fourteen. Yeah, you investigate the little pouch that he's holding on to, uh, and in his hands, uh, in the pouch is a bunch of, like, emeralds, probably about, like, uh, twelve of them. Probably, uh, what? belong to the Lizard Folk tribe. It's, it's probably part of their treasury or something like that. Uh, he probably came back, uh, to search for it or something like that. Uh, who knows what he was gonna do with it. So. Why does this hmm. motherfucker keep getting goddamn fucking gems and shit? <laughs> This better man, be getting better supplies. He investigates everything. This man, I know, fucking goddamn in everyone's pockets, man. I swear to God. So what do you guys? What do you guys want to do now? You guys want to try to make it back? You guys want to take a short rest, eat, and then uh, go off to the lizard folk lair? Yeah, I think we'd cook some of this gator and take a long, uh, a short rest or a long rest. Uh, I'll give you guys a short rest, or it's up to you. A long rest, you'll get back in the like afternoon. Short rest, you'll get back in the morning. So, and then you'll have the benefits of whatever. It all depends what time. It doesn't really matter. It's all yeah, I can do a short rest just to... Wait, what, what, are, what is this area that we're at? Oh, uh, this is the old, old lizard folk lair. So. Cause can you... Is, is there a specific uh, part where... I'm, like, I'm trying to think, is, is, is Thousand Teeth a hoarder? Does he have, like, a treasure? He's a fucking dragon. He's smog. A treasure trove? No, he doesn't have a treasure trove. Is there anything interesting in the swamp? If, uh, if, uh, if you want to go before out... You guys, to... Before you guys head out, uh, negative. Nothing interesting. Okay. Then. No, I, everything that was interesting was kind of just, like, over on this side. There's no, like, hidden secrets or anything like that. There's no other it, vampire? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even in the water? Negative. Not even in the bayou. Alright, alright. Right. Making sure, like, before we, like, start doing, like, investigation or arcana or whatever like that. Okay, if there's nothing, there's nothing. Are you and I guess we could... I said we just short rest and then head head back to the lizard folk. Well, yeah. well, Laxus, when do you feel most rested? In the morning or evening? Uh, as soon as I hear the birds chirping. Alright, short <laughs> rest it is. I mean, I didn't really get hit or anything, so... I got hit. I use spells. I got... <laughs> Alright, you guys, uh... Can so... I hit myself to heal and then short rest? <laughs> no, I mean, well, I... Mm, that's an interesting question <laughs> that I didn't think about. <laughs> Uh no, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say no. As as an action, you can spend one key point on touch your creature and restore. Uh I will just let you guys. I I made this too difficult. I'll just give you guys a full a uh, full rest. You guys oh. will make it. You guys will make it back in the morning. So go ahead and rest up, guys. So well, full you, heal and everything. Yeah, full heal and everything. You guys aren't gonna get any more, into any more combat or anything like that. So. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys make your way back to the lizard folk lair. Uh, I forgot what the, the queen's name was. I think it's like uh, Queen Alton Kent. Uh, but she's so. there. Uh, in her in her in her kind of throne room with some of the old administrators and other lizard, lizard folk civilians. Wait, do we have anything to prove that Croak has been taken care of? Um, because I mean, I have the necklace for Thousand Teeth, so I could just be like, "Yeah, this is Thousand Teeth." He's, he's uh, but like, maybe one of the, uh. could, like maybe like he had like, a ring in one of the body parts. Like, and hey, look, it's the ring. Just yeah, the ring. or used to you have his daughter's like uh, wedding yeah, crown thing up. as well. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to reveal it. It's not like direct proof, but. Uh, I think they'd trust you. Like, yeah, he's in pieces. Yeah, you might. I might have to have you make a check or something. But uh, you guys kind of march back into her throne room, uh, and she sees you, and she stands up to to greet you. 
Uh, and she, she uh, right away, she asks, were you, were you successful? Hmm. Kind of. Uh, yes. Yes, we were. Uh, Don Croak, what has become of him? Uh, taken care of. To Davy Jones with him. How do you, how did, how did, how did you dispatch him? He uh, live. Hold on, I think the best one I'm to sorry? explain that. I think the best would be for Laxus to explain this. Ah, uh, yes, no. Laxus. Uh, I mean. <laughs> you were closest to him when it happened, Laxus. Please. Uh, 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 <laughs> he was food. Well, he got eaten by a thousand too. Oh. Uh. Well, <laughs> good riddance then. Um. Did him or any of his people have any interesting artifacts in their possession? Nope. None. None whatsoever. Nope. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Make uh, deception. Yeah, yeah make it is it deception in D and D five e? It is deception. Okay. Yeah, make a deception check. Uh, fifteen. You pass. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, <laughs> Ain't nobody need to know except who already knows. Yeah, well, good. Alistair, keep know. your mouth it, fucking it, shut. It, and because you guys are here, uh, that must mean that thousand teeth is gone as well. Tell me, how, how was how did you manage to dispatch him? We cut him up. Uh, we electrocuted him. I whispered in his ear some dirty things. Electrocution? Interesting. Him. Interesting. We, uh, we don't have such capabilities here, or we would have used them to our advantage. I knew we play, put our trust in you for a reason. Um, I sent one of my scouts out a few days ago. Jeharic to try to find what remained of our treasury. Uh, just a handful of emeralds. You wouldn't have happened to have spotted anything out there, would you? Was this with the Bullywogs? Or not the... Was this with Don Croak? This, was, with, uh, this, was, at, this was at our old lair. Yeah. Hmm. That's a loxus. I'm gonna hand over the 12 emeralds. Oh, and I'm cool. gonna say... Here's this... I hope it funds your weapons. She, she, her eyes light up. Thank you very much. Uh, this would be a lot of money, and it would have been hard to turn in. Uh, this says not only a lot about you, but a lot about your group as well. Thank you. Um, huh. I'm holding. If any harm came to Salt Marsh, we would be willing to ally ourselves with the humans. Uh, Where? Please. Let them let them know we mean no treacherous intent. In fact, um, we will send two of our envoys to in town today towards Salt Marsh, um, it, 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 or back with you. However, however we want to handle it, but we will have uh, dip, diplom uh, diplomatic agents sent eventually. Perfect. Yeah, uh, but feel free to take the day, the morning, to rest up around the lair. Um, you know, take all the time that you need, uh, and then maybe we'll send everyone out in the morning. So, well, I am a stranger to these lands and to your people, but do you guys not have after Bellu celebrations going on? We have conquered oh. great trials. I mean, maybe a throwing of festive, you, uh, you know... I thought that was still in war or something. <laughs> yeah, you know what? There, you. It's a small we victory. Are, we are focused on the war effort, but you are right. Uh, a great victory was won today, and there's not a reason we shouldn't uh, celebrate that fact. There's two casks of wine that we have. We don't drink the stuff ourselves as lizard folk. We don't like the taste, <clears throat> but uh, we have our own drinks, and why not? Perfect. Uh, we'll These get, two men we'll get... need a drink. And I point to Alistair yeah. and Oceanus. <laughs> so, part, yeah, why not? You guys get a little, like, kickback going. They start roasting some uh, alligator over, like, a spit. You know, as lizard folk are doing that. Uh, the older lizard folk are, like, looking at all of you guys kind of suspiciously. The There's baby lizard folk around, you know, like, little ones that are kind of hanging around, taking peeks at you guys and stuff. Uh, some of the warriors are coming over, you know, and they're, like, uh, trying to arm wrestle Tadashi and shit. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's I at that... I the wine from them every time they lose. <laughs> I take it's out that... my playing card set and start playing some <laughs> yeah. lizard folk. Hell yeah. Uh, Laxus, what are you doing? 
Uh, probably trying whatever they have as alcohol. Yeah, you're trying some of this, like, uh, it, it's like, it, it's water, they filter it, and then they, like, infuse it with different kinds of berries and stuff like that that have been fermented. Um, so you're trying to, it's gross to you. Uh, you know, you have much more refined taste being from Luskin. Uh, yeah. But you're happy to kind of be included. But as you're kind of uh, drinking some of this wine back, uh, your sending stone goes off. And it's scaring. Laxus. Laxus. Hello? Yes. All right. How'd it go up there? Uh, we have established good relations with the lizard man. Good, 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 good. It's been a couple days. Um... Uh, my agents have returned, and uh, they spotted the sea ghost docked off some island uh, about three days out from you guys. Maybe, maybe even longer. Uh, three, four, depending. I don't know. Your ship might be a little bit slower, but it looks like that's where Slate is. Now, I I understand that. I asked you guys to come back here, and, uh, you know, once you're done seeing what the lizard folk were up to, but I also wouldn't be too concerned if you guys Detour. spent a few days making your way back here because you had to track down an old friend. Mm. So, I'll leave it up to you and, uh, Donnie and Virgil and whatever his name is. Right. And... And it's uh, and if you you take care of Slate, uh, well, even better. But if you come back, I'd understand. I know that he is very formidable. So, anyways, can't wait to hear about your success. Bye. Oh, we'll hear from you soon. Scare him out. Then, uh, right. that's, yeah. So, do we overhear this, or does he... Does no, he no, Laxus is the only one who knows this information right now. Oh, okay. damn. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, Hold, up. Hold think... up, Charles. I feel like I would gather everybody. Tell everyone at the same time. Alright. Yeah, you kind of, like, slowly, like, start pulling them, kind of, like, aside, getting all their attention together. You guys kind of find your uh, own space kind of in, uh, like, this uh, armory part of the lizard folk lair. What are you like, all right. looking for? All right, guys. So we have <gasps> uh, a report about... What's the book called? Uh, the Sea Ghost. The sea Ghost. Sea Egg? What did you find? You mean about Slate? Seems like they've been spotted, yeah. And we could make our way and chase after him. Or head back home. We're leaving right lizard. fucking now. <laughs> well, how, how are we leaving, though? You yeah, guys uh, you guys have the out. Gilded Lady. Yeah. Uh, oh, that that ship it. was gifted to you. Yeah. We leave now. <laughs> That's my vote. But whoa, wait! Whoa, what whoa. If, oh, oh, she, oh, she had to speak so. He's like, but wait! What about the lizard folk envoy? Uh, someone will have to escort them to town. Oceanus? Can we uh, lay the message? Uh, I guess, yeah, that's, yes, I can do that. I, I shame myself in battle. The least I can do is, is take them, is, is take the lizard folk envoy into town. Well, Oceanus, hear me on this. Maybe it is a good idea. Maybe you can make sure they're secure, and I'm trusting you very much with this important uh, mission. And when you get there, you then work hard and train super on your skills as both a combat fighter with your trident and in your archery. I would like to take them to town, but I would like to come back here to the Lizard Folk Lair to continue my training. I would be fine with that. Thank you. I will, I will see to it. You have my honor. And you have my faith. Thank you. And he, uh, he uh, gathers up his trident and he's like, I will go talk to the queen. Good luck. All right. So you guys are going after Slate. Oh. Is, is, you're uh, all in agreement. Wait, 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 yeah. wait. Let me slow the roll here. Obviously, Tadashi is upset, but you are of no mind. I've seen you drinking many wine while arm wrestling. 
Yeah, uh, but I can handle my alcohol. You know this. This I do not. The big boy. No, he can't handle. Maybe we should wait off till the alcohol is over then. We have three days to stay. I think I'll be fine. Donnie and Virgil and Brian, you guys kind of notice, have been hanging around near the entrance where they've been overhearing you guys talk. And they say, oh, that wouldn't be old Cobweb Island, would it? Because them waters aren't are very treacherous, you know, and storms rolling in. Not only would you have a low chance of survival getting through them to begin with, but if we waited any longer, it would be twice as dangerous. We so, go now. <laughs> all right, well then, let us start off. Well, all right, guys. Uh, we'll we'll go ahead and we, we'll do this. Don't worry. Guild Lady's a fast little caravan. We'll get through this storm. We'll get through these waters. It's no problem. Yeah, but I'm driving. <laughs> we are! <laughs> if the oh, waters are that, treacherous, Joshy. maybe I'm sure. This, this ain't your boat, <laughs> uh, Joshy. <laughs> well, uh, we, maybe for a little bit, but once it gets rough, we, we might take over. So. Uh, yeah, right. you guys you guys make your way out uh, to the Gilded Lady. Do you guys want to say anything to the Queen, though, before you guys leave? Uh, I right. guess thanks for the celebration, and wish you guys the best. Yeah, you guys kind of catch her on the way out. You let her know that she's uh, kind of talking to Oceanus. She's like, oh, yes, thank you. Why are you leaving so quickly, if I may ask? I have a... We have urgent business with an old friend. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, give your friend a, give your friend my warmest welcome. A welcome we will uh, give him, but warm it may not be. He has deceived us, and we must reclaim what he has taken, and see to it why he has done so. All right. So, let me ask you guys this really quick. Uh, out of uh, out of session, Gabby. Do you guys want to? We have a few options right now. We can do like a little epilogue. I don't have it fleshed out or planned yet, so it would kind of be a little bit improvised. Because uh, I have an idea mm-hmm. of how I want the next part of the campaign to start. Or Wait. we could save we could save it for the next session. Uh, or we can just like all level up, and then uh, see what we want to do. That's what I was gonna ask if we leveled up. Yeah, we're definitely, you guys are definitely level four. So we can just spend some time right now leveling up, and then we'll pick back up uh, as you guys right. hunt hunt, it, hunt down Slate. It's still early. It is still early. I didn't have a lot uh, planned for this session, so that's why I was like, we'll just level, <laughs> we'll just level up, and then go from there. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Hey, was you do? Shit. All right, What guys. did I get? What did I get? Ooh, I got new stuff. Oh, what is this? Low you guys all—you guys know at this point what you're doing with your leveling up, right? Beginning at the fourth level, okay. you can use. Oh, wait. What is five times your monk level? Uh, so you're level four, so like five times twenty. So yeah, it's because it says, uh, beginning at fourth level, you can use your reaction when you fall to reduce any falling damage. You take by an amount equal to five times your monk level. Damn. That's pretty. That's pretty savvy. Hey, was, yeah, we're <clears> jumping <throat> off a lot of stuff now. Oh. Like, I, I, every time I'm gonna jump now, I'm like parkour. <laughs> All right. Uh... Yeah. Level four. Let's go. Uh, oh, damn. What the hell? Ability score improvement. Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. Uh, what's better? Feet or ability score improvement? Oh, man, there's so many feats. It's it's a lot to, like, look that's through. That's I was scrolling through. I was uh, like, Jesus. Would any of these feats actually help us out in initiative or in combat? So there's a feat called Sentinel. Uh, look up Sentinel. Sentinel's a pretty good one. I'm gonna bring up the list of, like, top ten feats right now. Top ten... Well, it, already tell, it already shows me, but I don't, I don't see Sentinel. I see... That's there at the bottom. No, it's no. A, next to Savage Attacker. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it is. I need to scroll down. My bad. It's all good. 
It tells us what it does, though. You have master's techniques to take advantage of every drop in enemies in any uh, enemy's guard, gaining. Oh, let me see. Oh shit! Wrong thing. Get up. Get. Yes, yeah, Sentinel is like the top feat, actually, <laughs> of all time. This will be perfect for me. Uh, Lucky is a good one as well. Yeah! Lucky? What does that give you? Lucky Chloe oh. from Tekken 7. You basically can make like three re-rolls kind of on any roll. You gain expended luck points when you finish. So you basically go, okay, so you can use up three, and then after a long rest you go back to your three. Yeah. That's a good one too. Warcaster is another good one. Hell yes. Tough is always a fine one. They even have skill expert, which is basically like the uh, ability oh. score improvement. Oh yeah, for like uh, a few skills, I think. Oh, I was like, I have Chill Touch, but I went to my spells to go learn new ones, and uh -huh. I look, and Chill Touch is not learned, but I believe it's because of my pack boon. Yes, you are correct. Grappler? It confused the fuck out of me. Hell, yeah. What kind of what kind of spells are you looking at, Brian? Um, looking at the feats right now. I have oh, one copy. that gives me an extra cantrip and first level spell. Hell yeah! But I'm looking at the other ones for now. Wait, for my known spell, it could be either first or second level. Yeah. Hey. That's pretty good. It is pretty nice. <laughs> hmm. Hey, now the problem is which way to go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Polar Master sounds kind of good too. Polar Master is a great one, yeah. It, it's in one of the top ten lists. If only if I had a staff already. 
Magic Initiate is another good one. For uh, classes that don't have, like, magic. Ugh. I'm looking at Witch Bolt, and I'm trying to understand the terminology correctly. It says, okay. on each of your turns for the duration, you can use your action to deal 1d12 d tw uh, lightning damage to the target automatically. So does that mean on my turn I have to choose to give that damage as one of my actions? No, it just does it. It... it I, I'm pretty sure which bolt like uh, I think I have to because it, it creates like, like a link let me double check though well because then it follows the spell ends if you use your action to do anything else oh yeah you're right so I have yeah, to... it, crea it creates like a link, basically, of electricity to the target. But each so turn, ha I have to choose to keep doing the damage. Exactly. Huh. Uh, I don't know about that. Looking at Shadow Touch right now, and it sounds kind of good. <laughs> what does Shadow Touch do? Um, you expose your exposure to the Shadowfell's magic has you changed you has changed you, granting you the following benefits: increase your intelligence, wisdom, charisma uh, by one. You learn the invisibility spell and a first level spell of your choice. First level spell must be from Illusion or Necromancy School. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, I picked up my spells. My can. What'd, what'd you get? Cantrip is frostbite. And then for my spell, I picked up second level crown of madness. Nice crown of madness is so chill. And I, uh, I always dreamed that it would be part of your uh, character's uh, set. I just think that it fits so well with your patron and everything. <gasps> I'm going to use it, and I'm going to be like, Sequestron, behold him. And then yeah. I just want to be uh, Sequestron to then, like, get into his mind, and that's, like, the crown that goes in. It's just the hold Sequestron has on him for the moment. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, this is going to be fucking dope! <clears throat> and, Brian, that was your feet, right? The shadow touched? Or oh, I'm whatever. still looking through some Okay. Hell Way yeah. my options for now. I'm at 27 X, uh, HP. Let's go! Damn. Also, I did notice, you remember how I told you guys about the shiny wizard at the top right of D&D Beyond? Uh-huh. If you hover over the options, like if you hover over collections or my characters and campaigns, it uh, does rainbow colors. Yeah. What'd you say? Oh, wait, hang on. Is What'd you she, say, Matt? So you remember how I told you about that colorful wizard? Uh-huh. At the top of D&D &D Beyond, you can click and it just party modes. If you hover over the top layer, like collections, game rules, or sources, it rainbows. Oh. Same oh, thing. Oh, while it's on party? Hmm? Oh, that's what it probably means then. It makes D&D &D gay. Happy it, Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. God dang. It does it too if you go to collections and hover over like my characters and my campaigns. Has it, has it always done that though? Uh, only if you have that mode on. I I don't see it at all on my screen. You know? Yeah, I can share. Are you still? Uh, are we still streaming? By the way? We are, but uh, we can. So we're leveling up and streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. But we're good entry. The levels are set. <laughs> It was a good sesh. It was pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a lot written. It's, it's been busy for me, guys. I haven't got a chance to actually really 